Okay. Feeling good for this next match? Let's do it. BBSM Army versus FX Game Exchange's Dak Poe. So, Army, one of the guys that we remember early in his career was he's one of the guys that just showed up, took names, and at the same time, that same night, he managed to get, I believe, second place? It was something like that. Something ridiculous. It was, it was third place at his first Shockwave. That's right. Absolutely ridiculous. Never heard of that. Except for guys like Cosworth, who seated super low, then showed up, and then just absolute monster. Um, Dakpo, one of the senseis for a lot of people out here in DFW. Uh, not only in Smash 4, but in multiple of Smash games. Uh, this guy is super smart. And he definitely knows this matchup. Dakpo, of course, being an old school brawl player as well, had plenty of time to play with players like Denti, uh, who during their time were regarded as the best Olimar players oh, uh, in the world. You're absolutely right. Uh, but not only that, I mean, Olimar was super crazy back then too. So now he has to deal with a toned down version of it. But the difference is, is that even now, Olimar has, still has a pretty good combo game and can zone very effectively. We're seeing how effective that zoning is. <laughs> Dakpo hasn't been able to land a hit on Army so far. But even then, dog, look, he's got two Moniques ready to go. Back to back. Those two purple Pikmin. Dakpo aware of the range, decides to roll out, and now he's actually going to be pushing the advantage. Only temporarily. Army able to use a quick nair to get out of a lot of the initial trouble. He does have those purple Pikmin, but remember, these come with reduced range. Correct. Smash decks. But the increased amount of knockback, which, granted, at the percentage that he's at, makes a lot of sense. Especially whenever you know Dakpo wants to get in close. He needs to get in close. I mean, if it's if he's just going to play the projectile of war, he's going to lose. 100%, yes. Um, ooh, big risk. And a great bait. You know, it's it's funny. He went for that Hail Mary there, and he, I think what he was guessing of just normal get up onto the stage. Um... So he was going to do up B there, swing for the fences, and hope for the best. But here's the big deal, is that once he throws a Pikmin on them and they latch on, you have to do some sort of a movement. You have to do some sort of a an attack to get that Pikmin off. While you're whiffing that, Army can come in and just whip punish you. But, ooh, baby! Army answering back. I mean, I mean just in, just so insane. And Dagpo is demonstrating why he is exactly so good at this game. Even though he took almost 100 damage without putting a single point on his opponent, he still was able to take the stock first because he knows when to seize that one moment. I'm sorry, can we talk about that sick instant ledge slap back air off of the trump? His hair is going to be looking real fresh. Look at that. So fresh. Thank okay. God. Now Dakpo might be starting to get a better handle of some army zoning tendencies out there. Rolling right or behind him and getting the grab. The rolling thunder. Ooh! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Did you just run up to him and shield? I mean, what was he going to do? Throw the Pikmin? Dakpo wanted him to. Done. Wow! That was sick. That was sick. I'm just I'm letting the gravity of that sink in because Dakpo did two um, callouts that entire match. One at ledge, second there, and he's now he's fit batting 50, 50 percent, batting 500. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 500, pretty good, especially considering that that's the equivalent of you doing wake up DPS and not getting punished for it. I mean, I think uh needed a minute. Check his uh, controls. As much as I would love to have Pokemon Stadium as a viable option in this game. Oh. Actually, Dakpo made a video on how Pokemon Stadium could potentially be viable. Because if you play that stage with, uh, I think, five players or more, then um, the stage hazards go away. Really? Yeah, and it's just Pokemon That's Stadium. strange. Interesting. No stage hazards, nothing. Just the... Uh, Oh, good old PS, man. Like that PS2, basically. PS2 is my favorite stage. It's a good stage, man. That's my favorite stage of all time, I think. Uh, I mean, I, I just love Battlefield, man. Oh, that's a lie. Dreamland, man. <laughs> Dreamland you, or yeah. Plus. <laughs> but OG Dreamland, man. 64 Dreamland. 64 Dreamland is sick. I will give you that. That's fine, dude. 64 Dreamland is like that beautiful-ish for Kirby up tilt to take you up to the top platform, dare you into the oblivion. Guess the tech roll, and then you just, just get destroyed. Man. It feels so good. I love 64 Kirby. Okay. We got a character swap over to the ZSS. Yeah, this, this, is a, this is a matchup that 
uh, longtime viewers or, or fans of the DW scene will definitely know. Because Dakpo, whenever he played Brawl, he used to play ZSS. Yeah. And of course, true. he would be Denti, he would be busting out the all -in -one. Ooh, the follow up. Yeah, that was a good job because he was just about to break out of stun. He managed to get there just in time. And Olomar, again, being so light, I feel like he's going to be just launched off of the this, this stage so quickly if Dakpo can get one of those boost kicks. Interesting. Wow, that was sick. Even on the cross up, he was able to get him. Adding these Pikmin onto him adds ton of damage. Just be, be just the fact that now it forces you to have to do some sort of an option. Ooh. The, uh, now you see me. Really yeah. smart plays. What we're noticing from Army is he has no troubles actually putting the damage on. It's just whenever he has to make that last actual real hit is Wait. when he struggles. Ooh, that uh, time. That, he was just able to react. He simply saw, okay, there's the getup attack. Go, my Pikmin. It's almost like he did, like a, it looked for a second like he did a jab reset into the X-Man. I didn't review the footage. I don't think that's exactly what happened. It's going to be a pretty difficult with this blinding yeah. white light that comes with FD. This is why you pick Omega FD, guys. I don't think, uh, the transition doesn't happen if you pick Omega FD. I feel like it still does. I, I tried it recently, and it still happened, and I was really? very sad. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh, catches him? No. He's got to be careful down there. Dakpo, he's not afraid to pop those flip kicks. Okay. Where's the follow-up? This is where Army has been this entire set. And with a percent lead, he needs to make the right read. But oh. Dakpo instead reverses the situation. Oh, my God. How many times did Dakpo catch him trying to be offensive? Are you kidding me? Jeez, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. How many times? Dakpo literally with his feet was saying, did I catch you trying to be something? You are under my heel, boy. That was ridiculous. That was just ridiculous. That's insane.